Hi, this is Joe from JH Leather and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a license holder. Let's get started. So for this tutorial you will need some 1.5mm veg tan shoulder, 0.8mm veg tan lining leather, a 0.5mm UPVC, a used shotgun round and a set of press studs. So first of all we're going to cut the outer body which is going to be 9.25 inches long by 4.5 inches wide. And we're going to number one edge all the way around the outside. And once we've got that cut out, we can then cut our lining. So we want to cut the lining nine inches long by five inches wide. And we're then going to cut a window into this. So we're going to mark half inch in on three sides, including the two short sides, and then one inch in on the remaining long side. And then we're going to flip that over and draw a half inch line on the back. We can then cut out our UPVC. And our popper tab. So mine is 7 eighths of an inch wide. Depending on how big your popper is, it will depend on how wide you need your popper tab to be. You can then draw a bridle point on the end. So for the bridle point, we're going to make this one inch long and we're going to mark an eighth of an inch in on either side. We can then number one edge along the grain of our tab. And once we've done that, we can then take everything over to the staining desk and stain and crease. So we're going to stain all the way around the popper tab and the outer case and crease all the way around them also. And then for the interior bit, we're just going to stain and polish this. Once you've done that, you can then glue your popper tab to some of the spare lining leather. and stitch mark around this. You can then mark your stitching line around your main body. So it's going to be on one long side and two short sides. And then we're going to mark out for where our shotgun shell is going to sit. So mine is an inch of the way in from the bottom edge and side. And then we're going to put a 19 millimeter circle hole. And now we're going to get our shotgun shell ready. So you need to make sure it has been used and you can tell by the center of it being hit with a firing pin. You will then want to pop this on a hot plate and melt the plastic so you can just pull them out like so. We're then going to fit this in place so you want to pop that in the hole and then you'll need some little nippers here and you can sort of nip around the edge of that shell. And then using a hammer you're going to tap everything down including the pin in the middle. And once you've done that, we're just going to polish it up nicely. So I'm going to use some Brasso on this, which will just get it all nice and shiny.
And then we're going to put a little backing on this just so the edges are covered and sky the edges of the backing to nothing. And then we're going to glue this in place. Once you've got that glued on, we're then going to stitch mark around it. So you need to set your dividers so that they're about a quarter of an inch away from the edges of your shell. Set the dividers and then hold them in the middle of the shell and spin the leather around it. Once you've got your circle marked on, you can then stitch mark all the way around this. We're then going to sky along our half inch line on our interior window. And once we've done that, we can then glue around and then we're going to glue the PVC in place. I'm just going to trim the top of our half inch bit here down to 3 eighths just so we get a nice straight edge and then fold that over and glue the top edge down and around our window and you can tap this down with a hammer just to make sure it sticks and it's nice and flat and then we're going to stitch mark all the way around this so we're going to stitch mark on the folded edge and as well as all the way around that window so I have set my dividers to just about one eighth of an inch and then I've marked all the way around and we are now stitch marking. So we're then going to fit the popper to the body of our case. So we're going to mark where we want that to be and punch a hole and fit the bottom half of our popper set. And once you've fitted that, we then want to roughly mark where we're going to stitch to. Basically, we're going to hold the tab in place and mark where we want our stitching to be finished because basically we're going to punch a crew and the tab is going to go inside that. So we're going to mark where we want to finish our stitching to and we're going to copy that onto the other side. And then we're just going to stitch around the long sides between these two points. So we can now double hand stitch everything that we have stitch marked so far. And then once we've done stitching, we can trim around the back of where our shotgun shell is. So we get a nice little circular patch there. And you'll be able to rub off any excess glue that there is. We can also trim around our popper tab. And then number one crease between the stitching on the underside of our tab. And then we're actually going to do our finishing touches and restain and recrease this part. Once you've done that, you can then punch your hole for your popper to go in and fit the other half of your popper. You then want to pop the popper in place and hold where you want it to sit to. 
and then we're going to flip it over and mark on the back here where that will be and then we're going to even it up and make sure it's the same on both edges of our case and once we know where that's going to be we want to mark 7 8 because that's the width of our popper tab and draw a line between the two now I'm using a 38 crew to punch the hole for my tab to go in you want to take your number six edge and edge around the back sort of towards the main body of your crew and then skive the non-stitched end of your tab to nothing and then you can glue in place And once you've got it glued in place, you can then mark out and stitch mark just a little line along the centre there. And then my camera didn't record the next couple of bits, but what we're going to do is basically going to stitch this tab in place. And then we're going to stitch mark around the main body of our case and glue in the internal parts. And once we've done that, we can then stitch all the way around our case. And when you get to your popper tab, you can just move that out of the way so you don't stitch over it. And once we've done stitching, we can then start to fancy up our case. So we're going to sand the edges, so we get a nice good edge to stain to. And finally, we're going to re-stain and re-crease our wallet. And that is the end of this video. Hopefully you've got something that looks a little bit like this one. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below or email me on info at jhleather.co.uk. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos and tutorials. And I'll see you in the next episode.